My name is Gada Yakiyama. I'm 28 years old. I took over a big restaurant that my parents ran, but recently, I'm in big trouble. Got it, Kuhn. Thanks for the meal. I'll come again sometime. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna be struggling this month, too. I've been recreating what my mom and dad have made before, but I wonder if it's something just missing. I was gonna take over the restaurant eventually, and I've even got several chef certifications. I also love cooking. However, I've been doing alright thanks to the regulars, but this place has been bleeding money. There aren't any customers. Maybe it's time to close up shop. Hmm? Who's at the entrance? Are they looking at the menu? I guess I can try talking to them. I open the front entrance and talk to the people at the entrance, but... Welcome! Um, are you okay? Oh, yeah. Um, we just smelled something really nice. They were pretty beat up, and their eyes looked dead. Their clothes were torn up, too. I could tell immediately that something was wrong. I couldn't leave them alone. Would you like to eat here, then? Uh, but we don't have any money. It's fine, don't worry about it. I was just about to close up shop and eat myself, so just think of it as a bonus. But... Just go ahead and take a seat. Here you go. Wow, it looks so good! Let me know how it tastes after you try it, huh? Yeah, thank you! Who knew there would still be kids that would be this excited to see a meal in front of them? It's so good, my cheeks are going to fall off! <laughs> That's good. I got plenty more, so don't hesitate to ask, okay? Um, I'm sorry. I don't know how to thank you. It's really okay. Just make sure to finish up before it gets cold. Oh, sure. After the two finished eating, the daughter started to look pretty woozy. Nana, you can't fall asleep at the store. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm so sleepy, Mom. Just let her go to bed. Oh, but you have to close up. You know, we gotta help each other out. Huh? Oh, I think that's what we're supposed to say in situations like this, right? And my parents, who passed away last year, love to say that. So, what's going on with you two? Why don't you tell me since your daughter has fallen asleep? I decided to halfway force her to tell me what was going on. I was a little worried, maybe I was prying, but I had to help her out. Her name was Yuka Tomatsu, and her daughter's name was Nana. Yuka is 28, like me, and her daughter is in the second grade. She became a single mother after things didn't work out with her husband, and they got a divorce last year. Apparently it was going well for a little with just the two of them, but... My part-time job actually ended up closing up shop. They didn't pay for last month's salary either, so I didn't think it was weird, but... In other words, you haven't had any money for two months. Yeah. I don't have any savings either, so I was chased out of my apartment. That sounds rough. She had no relative she could rely on, and Greg's husband doesn't help at all either. After hearing everything that happened, I made a decision. Alright, how about you guys stay here then? What? I... I can't. Uh, don't worry about it, I have some spare rooms. Also, if you work here, I can pay you. It won't be much, but you'll make some money, and you'll have three meals a day. But that sounds like too good of a story. It's really fine. We gotta help each other out. And think about your daughter. Thank you so much. I really don't know how to thank you. It's fine. Just help me out when I need it, huh? Uh, of course. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. That's how we started living and working at my store. The next morning, I woke up and headed to the living when... Good morning. Uh-huh. Good morning. Thank you so much for the food last night, godai -san. Morning! Your food was so good! Yuka-san and Nana-chan? Uh, yeah. Is there a problem? No, I was just... Uh, you guys look different. Yeah, we were all torn up and you lend us some clothes. These clothes fit perfectly! G great It's just some clothes I had left over from when I was a kid. By the way, the clothes that Yuka-san is wearing are my mom's clothes. I was pretty shocked, but after I offered them to stay at my house, I lent them some clothes, and handed let them take a bath too. After we finished eating breakfast, I started getting ready to open the store. I was teaching Yuka-san how to run things. So, let's move on to the register next. Yes, please. 
She was very serious, so it helped my motivation as well. All the while, Nanachan. I want to help you too! Ah, you want to help? Okay, uh, can you wipe the tables and clean up some dishes? Yeah! yeah it's not a problem, because it's Saturday, but I hope we can send her off to school starting next week. I'll talk to Yukasan about it later. The store finally opened up. Hello there, young lady! I'm Nana! Nana is Nana! I see! Nice to meet you, Nana! Uh, why are you helping out today? Well... Go, Daikun! I brought all of my employees! Huh? Uh, thank you! I'm gonna be offering to take some clients to your store as well, so... Please open the night up for a group of us! What's going on? I need to get cooking! Nana-chan was able to go to an elementary school that wasn't too far from a restaurant, but... I'm Tonatsu Nana! Nice to meet you all! She had to move, so she'll be joining us today. You all be nice to her, okay? What? What is it? She's a girl, but she's wearing boy clothes! Hey, <laughs> what a weirdo! <laughs> hey, don't say that. It's not weird. Yeah, it's not weird. This clothes is super important. Don't make fun of it. Why? Well, these clothes... Yes? This is Akiyama Staple Meats. What? Sure, uh, of course. Uh, thank you so much. Is there a problem, Akiyama-san? No problem. Just, uh, a group is gonna be coming again. A reservation for 12. Wow, that's wonderful. Yes, this is Akiyama Staple. What? Y yeah, of course. Uh, we're waiting for your arrival. Another group? Yeah, Nana Chan's Elementary School is gonna be having a PDA meeting and they're gonna have 24 people coming in and renting out the place. Wow! Why? What's going on? Why are there so many group reservations back to back? They're all calling in a hurry, too. Did I put an ad out or something? Wait, did Nana Chan? Hey, Nana Chan, you have a second? Hmm? What is it? Apparently, she was telling people about her story at school. She was chased out of an apartment and was struggling to eat. Then the store owner kindly offered a place to live, a job, and warm food. The story spread quickly, and a lot of the people started reserving to help out. News of this spread through the town, too. A month later. This is insane! I think this might be the highest sales record we've ever had. Wow, that's wonderful! We did it! Yeah, but... Oh, what is it? Well, you two came and everything has been going well, but it's not like people have been coming because of my cooking, you know? Are you upset? I don't know. I want to be happy, but I'm not sure. My grandfather was a businessman, but he used to always say that people don't come to buy the product, but for the merchant. For the merchant? Yes. So the people were attached to how wonderful of a person you were. I mean, if anything, they were attracted to you two. I've just been focusing on the flavor and not really paying attention to the customers. And sure, customer service, or not a chance, great smile that gathers people to this place. It's only because you have the cooking skills to back it up. Everyone says your food is great before they leave the store. No, no, it's really thanks to you two. How about we say this? Everyone here worked hard! Yeah, you got us. <laughs> she sure did. We gotta help each other out in sadness and happiness. Our lives continue to stabilize, and we had a busy but great life. But then... I'm home. Oh, welcome home, Nana-chan. Huh? You all right? You seem upset. Something happened at school? She seemed a little off. She wouldn't even talk to Yuka-san. I thought maybe it was temporary, but eventually we got a call from the school. Hmm. Nana-chan has been acting pretty upset recently. Has something happened at home? No, nothing out of the ordinary. We were actually worried that something happened at school. I see. She's been pretty popular since she moved here, so everyone is really worried about her. It wasn't that something happened at school and nothing happened back at our place. We decided to take her out, but still. Nana Chani, you having fun? Yeah. Yeah, this is fun. I thought she would be happier if we went out together, but I guess it's not that simple, huh? What would mom and dad do? Eat this and cheer up, buddy! But this is... Huh? Yeah, it might not be a regular dish, but sometimes... I've got it! The next day... Nana, 
Gorai-san said I'll cook you something good today. What is it? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see, huh? Nana-chan, it's ready! Oh, wow! It's a parfait! Oh, wow! You made this yourself? <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I've made something like this, but I hope you like it. Yeah, thank you! When I was in elementary school, I had some problems making friends, and then my dad made me this. Loom parfaits are good no matter who cooks it, but that tough dad making me a cute little parfait made me happy. I'll never forget that taste. That's great! Don't eat it too fast, huh? Yeah! Thank you, good day, son! Here you go, Mom! Ah! Uh... Mm -hmm, yeah! Mm, so good, good day, son! <laughs> well, I'm gonna get ready to open up the store, so you guys just take your time and enjoy your meal. I didn't know what was bothering her until the end, but I'm glad that she's back to how she was now. I wonder what was bothering her. I think he was really thinking hard about something, but she never told me. That day I was out buying groceries with Yuka-san. I know this isn't the timing, but it's been so rare for us to be alone outside of work. Um, Yuka-san? Thank you so much for the three months, Godai-san. Huh? I was able to pay for the rent that we couldn't pay, and I think we can find another place to live. Oh, I see. That's good. Also, um... I think I might find another job. Oh, yeah. You were looking for a job, weren't you? If you find a place that pays better than us, then there really is no reason to stick around. No, that's not what it is. I... No, Nana and I both love that store that you kept open for your parents. It's warm and it smells good. It's so full of smiles all the time. I want to keep working at that store, you know, but I can't just keep being spoiled by you. Well, then how about we get together? Uh, but... I'm serious, I've fallen for you hard. Oh, uh, but I... I'm sorry, I know this is sudden. You may feel like you owe me, but it was really you and Nana-chan that did the saving. You two brought the bottom line up right before I was considering closing. So I want to protect you and Nana-chan with my life. Kodai-san! Please think about it. Thank you. Afterwards, we swung by Nana-chan's new school. I thought I saw her, but then I saw someone in an expensive business suit talking to her. Who's he talking to Nana-chan? That's... That's my ex-husband. What? Have you thought about what I said, Nana? You can't be with that woman anymore! If you come with me, there's a new mom, and she's a great person for being a mom. She will lead you in the right direction, I'm sure of it. What the hell are you doing here? What are you talking about to my daughter? Hmm? Yuka and uh, the restaurant owner. You looked him up? I'm not his father. I wouldn't know who is around her. Do not get close to her anymore. That was the condition. This was the first time I've seen her father. This cold glare was now facing my direction. You're, um, Akiyama, was it? Sounds like you've really hit the gold mine with these two, haven't you? What are you talking about? You made them work, and before you know, everyone is going to your store. You pay little to nothing, and it's basically free labor. I'm impressed by your business skills. What are you talking about, damn it? How much? What? How much to release Nana? Just give me a number and I will pay. Release her. What are you talking about? I'm not forcing her to stay. Then you need to sell her parental rights, Nana. I'm not going to do that. Hmm. <laughs> you broke the promise, though. You said you'd make Nana happy, but you were chased out of your apartments and lived with this weak manlet. You have no right to be her parent. You said you'd make her happy, so I gave up on Nana. You didn't accept my child support. You said you'd do something on your own, but now you've completely broken that promise. Don't worry, Nana can be fixed. I won't say for free. I will pay however much you want. She must have felt that what he was saying, at least some of it, was correct. She couldn't say anything back. It wasn't about the money. It was the fact that she couldn't take care of Nana-chan. But... Come on! Give me Nana's parental rights and leave! A child is not some kind of property! What's wrong with you? 
This is between Euchre and I. You just keep your head out of our biz- This is absolutely my business! I saved them and they saved me. We have a relationship! <laughs> oh, you think that if you meet up, you have some kind of relationship? <laughs> How ridiculous. You might mock it, but to me it's more important than money. There is nothing more important than money in this world. Living lavishly, having great education, a great environment, it's all thanks to money. The child should have a right to choose that. If you want to offer money for a parental rights, then she has a right to choose too. <laughs> Fine. Choose, Nana. You come with me to live a great life or your life with Euchre in this man life. I think it would be better for me if I go with you. Hmm, <laughs> there you go. Nana! Because good I sound likes mom. You can't marry her because Nana is here, right? That's not true at all. You're my everything. What do you want, Nana-chan? What, uh, what do I want? Yeah, I want you to imagine yourself with mom and what we've been through at my restaurant. I want to be with you and mom. I love mom and I love you. So I want you two to get married so I can be your kid. Nana. Nana-chan. <laughs> How ridiculous. You heard her. Don't ever come near her again. Fine, I grow tired of Nana anyway. Do as you wish. He walked away. He looked slightly upset. I wanted to believe that it was because he still loved Nana. Half a year later. Yuki-san, you look great on the job now, huh? You remind me of the old owner. <laughs> Thank you. I've got a ways to go. Nah, after you two showed up, this store's been livelier than ever. More than anything, though, God Hakun seems happier. Dad, what do I do next? You do your homework next. What? Oh, I'm gonna be making parfait that you love later. Yay! I gotta go finish my homework! We got married and officially moved in together. Nana-chan, of course, with a family member. Every day has been a blessing. Hey, your hair is a little undone in the back. Oh, really? Here, I'll fix it for you. Your hair is a little undone. Oh, really? Here, no, I'll fix it for you. We were all very close after that. Our days very busy. But we were very happy as well. The days are full of smiles. I'm gonna continue living the best life with Euchre and Nana. <laughs>